Now, meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. It is a cold morning out across the Miami Valley. We do have uh, overcast sky in most spots. A few breaks have been showing up here and there, but they're short lived. And we've had some snow falling in parts of the area through the overnight and early morning. A lot of us have seen the snow stop for the moment. Uh, the exception would be the southwestern Miami Valley, where we still have a few snow showers clipping portions of Wayne County, Preble County, Butler County. And across uh, some of our far northern counties, we still couldn't rule out a few snow showers up in Logan County. Uh, we may see a few more develop later today. Uh, we do have just an unsettled pattern across the region. You see this morning's activity has pretty much been lake effect and pretty light, but enough to keep things slick in spots. Right now it's overcast and 24 in town. It's windy. West winds have been coming in from 15 to 25, gusting to 30. Our noontime temperature just 27, 3 o'clock 30, and then a few more late day snow showers will be possible back down in the upper 20s for the commute home. So our weather headlines on and off snow showers are expected today, tonight, and Friday. We will catch breaks in the activity, but at times we'll be dealing with some light snow. And that'll be the key word. Any accumulation looks light, anywhere from a coating up to a half inch, but not much more than that. We do get back to drier conditions going into the weekend and moderating temperatures. We're actually going to get into a little bit of a warming trend. Today, tomorrow, and Saturday will be stuck in the 30s, so three cold days in a row. But then Sunday afternoon will jump to 50 degrees and early next week, mid 50s. That warm up does come along with a pretty good chance for rain. It's 24 right now. We've got a west wind at 21 miles per hour. That is giving us our wind chill of 9 degrees, so quite blustery this morning. And those conditions will continue through the afternoon. You can see wind speeds up between 15 and 20 miles per hour this afternoon, getting as high as 20 to 25 miles per hour perhaps. They do decrease quickly as we go into our evening and overnight. And tomorrow morning it doesn't look too breezy, but the winds pick up again in the afternoon, keeping those wind chills in the teens and 20s. Today, our wind chills probably won't get out of the teens. We're starting in the low teens this morning and even single digits, and that is pretty much how we'll stay through the afternoon, mid to upper teens right on into tonight. Future track shows lots of clouds around through lunchtime, maybe a flurry, but generally dry conditions. Then as we head towards the drive home at five, we'll have a few more snow showers dropping in from the west. Those will be around through the first part of the overnight before ending. And then tomorrow morning will start dry, but a disturbance passing southwest of us tomorrow afternoon may bring a few scattered light snow showers, especially to our southern counties late in the day Friday. Here's your forecast today. We'll have some scattered snow showers. We've had them early and then again late, windy and colder and mostly cloudy in between. A few snow showers tonight, but accumulation will be around a half inch or less, down to 22, so watch for slick conditions. And then a snow shower tomorrow afternoon, a breezy cold finish to the week. Saturday looks cold too, but dry with the sun coming out a bit more. And in your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast, lots of sunshine and 50 degrees on Sunday. That'll be the nicest day of the next week. Even though it looks warmer next week, it's going to be kind of rainy. Some showers likely Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even some thunder possible Tuesday.